Spanish drop quiz. Former student at the college. Thanks for being here, Dan. No problem. I guess the first question I want to ask you is, how did you get involved in college theater? Uh, I started auditioning for the shows as soon as I came here, which was in the fall of 2009. I didn't, I didn't start doing, like, I didn't make a show until the next summer, but I've, ever since I came here, I've been trying to get involved and have been involved with the theater. Right. And uh, during your time with college, with theater here at the college, have you seen any of the uh, Buffalo Theater Ensemble shows? Yes, I've seen, for the most part, most of them. And what are some of the shows that you've seen? Uh, the first one I saw was Love Song, and then I, then I saw, after that, was On Golden Pond. Mm -hmm. And, well, no, come on. Um, it's hard to just name them off. I think my favorite I've seen was probably Moon Over Buffalo. Yeah, what was uh, the experience seeing? What was the experience like seeing Moon Over Buffalo? Oh, it was fantastic because at the time I was in a class with Amelia Barrett. So it's just, I, it's so rewarding for me to be able to have a teacher giving me tips. And then I can go and see that teacher doing her her other job, which is acting, which is what I want to do. It was just so rewarding and beneficial to me. So what was your reaction when you found out that uh, Buffalo Theater Ensemble was being discontinued? Uh, I was honestly very shocked because for me it was always just such a crucial part of the school, the experience, and for me the curriculum. So it, I just it took me a long time to really wrap my head around why they would cancel such an important thing, not just to me, for the teachers and the students. Right, and uh, how big of a loss do you think this is? So uh, the department? It's pretty terrible because like I said and I, it was very rewarding for me as a student and I think it helped me grow as an actor and as well as a student to go see my teachers doing what they've been teaching us and it's just so nice having an in-house professional theater because a lot of times for acting classes we have to go see professional shows so having one literally right in the same building with us is just astounding because if we don't have one here the next close, like next area that has professional theater, that's out in the city, and that's not everyone really enjoys going out to the city. It's just nice to have one right here in your own backyard. Yeah, and so why did you sign the petition? Because I honestly, honestly believe that I'm starting to leave COD a little bit, and I would like the people who are coming after me to get the same experience I got. And if BTE's not here, that's just they're not they're not going to get the same experience as me they're not gonna i don't think they're going going to go going to grow as much as i did as an actor and as a student and i think that's the whole point of college and so taking bt away you're really watering down their college experience right. so do you think bt will ever come back i really hope so because like john tovar says one of our teachers if you want if you're a student and you want to change how the college runs, you need to get out there. You need to start, uh, you know, like putting it, well, we haven't done like flyers, but I mean, for the most part, we've been getting on the internet, we've been trying to get petitions, we've been doing interviews. And at this point, I mean, we have almost 750. Last I checked, it was 740. Um, you've done dozens of interviews at this point, I think. At least a dozen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least a dozen interviews with current and former students about how important it is to have the theater or the BTE. So I, th I think we've done a great job of getting the students together and you know putting our voice out there that we, we want this back. It's very important to us. All right, do you have any final thoughts? Um, I, I pretty much said everything I think I need to say. Um, it'd be a real shame if we don't get it back, but you know, I think we will. I don't see how anyone can ignore all this uh, backing we've got here.